SCP-2300 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2300 instances are currently individually contained within specifically designed containment units within site. Containment units must not match the composition of the SCP-2300 instances they contain and must be resistant to damage caused by the contained instances of three states of matter. Radioactive instances of SCP-2300 are to be placed in a separate containment area with appropriate shielding. Description. SCP-2300 is the collective designation for a series of 98 miniature humanoid figures. Each instance is comprised of a single chemical element, and is marked with their respective atomic number on the crown of their heads. Individual SCP-2300 are designated to match this marking. SCP-2300 are solid at all times regardless of the atmospheric pressure and temperature, and exhibit the normal properties of the respective element when in a solid state. However, SCP-2300 can be physically damaged and separated material is subject to normal melting, freezing, and boiling points. SCP-2300 are able to consume any and all matter, allowing them to regenerate sustained damage as necessary. Material not matching the instance will be rejected from the mouth orifice as a solid mass several minutes later, which will often be passed on to other SCP-2300 to consume. SCP-2300 are sapient and display varying degrees of intelligence, with SCP-2300 composed of elements with a lower density typically displaying greater intelligence. SCP-2300 often group together with others within their elemental period. While incapable of speech, SCP-2300 comprehend both verbal and written English. Footnote. The transmission of communication between SCP-2300 is currently unknown. Interviews staged with writing implements reveal that SCP-2300 considered SCP-2300-2, 10, 18, 36, 54, and 86 to be a nobility, each ruling over the elemental period that they are in. SCP-2300-2 considered the highest noble and by extension ruler over the first six periods often defers to SCP-2300-1 as –1 appears to be the most intelligent of SCP-2300, with a Foundation Intelligence Quotient of 132. SCP-2300-87-98 do not follow this monarchy, instead taking part in a monastic order following the teachings of SCP-2300-1 directly. Testing reveals that while these instances meditate, they are not subject to radioactive decay, and it is hypothesized that other radioactive instances are also capable of this should they join a monastic order. SCP-2300 often damage themselves to create tools from their bodies to carry out given tasks, sometimes altering themselves so severely that their entire body is a tool for other SCP-2300 to use, thus necessitating other SCP-2300 to force-feed them to instigate regeneration. Should the mouth be damaged in a way that prevents typical regeneration, SCP-2300 will attempt to anonymously build a replacement from the leftover material. Newly created instances possess no knowledge of their former self, and must be instructed by other SCP-2300 about their culture and situation. Most SCP-2300 activity is dedicated to the creation of art, which often possess anomalous properties. Despite SCP-2300 normally segregating themselves into small groups, they will often hold gatherings in the form of a gallery. However, there appears to be no preliminary process to what can be in any given gallery, meaning less experienced SCP-2300 are capable of showcasing material deemed unsatisfactory to the majority of their more experienced peers. While works that are universally viewed as poor are often removed from galleries within a small time frame, some are left on display due to the approval of the high number of less experienced SCP-2300.